Now that we can build apps, we also want to give our app users the ability to update them. So instead of having them to point to a website so that they have to manually download them every time, we can make use of an update mechanism inside of our Electron apps. So to install the updater that we're going to use, we can use yarn at Electron updater. Next, we need to define how we want to publish our uh, application builds. The easiest way to do this is by using GitHub. So that's what we are going to add now. So to add this option, what we need to do is we have to go to our view.config.js. We have the Electron Builder options. And in here, we can add builder options that will be passed to the builder plugin that actually bundles and builds our apps. And here we say that we want to publish our applications to GitHub. All right, so this would be only the publishing step. Now to add the updater inside of our application, we can go into our background JS. So this would be in the background process. And in here, we are going to import the auto updater. So we import auto updater from electron updater like this. And then when we open our main application window, so down here, here we load, load the index.html file and here we would also check if updates exist. Um, this will only happen in production builds because while you're developing, you obviously don't want to check if updates can be downloaded. So here we can say auto updater, check for updates and notify. So this will check for a new update in the background and then display a notification to the user that the update will be downloaded automatically. And when the user reopens the app, so they have to first close it and reopen it, the update will be applied. So this is all we need to do for the basic implementation like this. Uh, all right, and now we are basically ready to publish this, but our Electron Builder package does not yet know how to publish the application to GitHub. So there are a couple things missing. First of all, it doesn't know about the repository, so we can add it to our package JSON. So we can add repository type would be VCS. Is that right? Is it VCS or is it Git? Let me check. Git, of course. Git. And then we have the URL where we point it to our GitHub repository. I already created a private repository that I have here. So I'm just going to paste this URL. So now when we build our app, the builder knows where to upload those files, but the builder still does not have access to write to this repository. So we need to create an access token on GitHub. So you can go to github.com slash settings slash tokens, where you probably also have your composer tokens if you use composer. And then you can generate a new token that we will use for Electron Builder. This token needs repository access and that's basically it. So we generate the token, there it is. Let's copy this. And now we need to export it as an environment variable. So in here, what we can do before we run this, so you should put this uh, maybe inside of your bash profile, we can do export gh underscore token equals to, and then my token. So we're save this. 
And now the next time we run Electron Build, it should automatically upload our version to GitHub. Now, as I mentioned, we have this dash P flag in these build scripts. And these basically mean do not upload the build automatically. So I usually copy these, all these build scripts and name them publish. So we would have something like publish OS X. And instead of using P never, we are going to say P always. So we make sure that we, when we run this, we always upload the build information to whatever kind of service we have configured as our publishing option. Now let's try and run this. All right, as you can see, our build finished successfully and it uploaded the files to GitHub and tagged it as the version. So if we go to GitHub now, to our repository and refresh, because I don't have any files in my GitHub repository, it wasn't showing me the releases. So let's just add a new file like this. All right, now this looks a lot better. So if we take a look at our releases, we can now see that we have a 0.1 uh, .1 draft release. So these are the uploaded assets that we just published. So these contain the uh, YAML file, which contains the update information that our auto updater needs, as well as all the necessary binaries. And now we can publish this release to trigger the auto update to pick it up. Now let's go and publish this. All right, and let's just create a new version, let's say 0 0.2 and publish this again to see if our auto updater works. So we're just going to increase the version number in here and run yarn publish again. All right, so version 0 0.2 got uploaded as well. So let's switch back to GitHub, take a look at the releases. Here we have the draft release and let's publish this. All right, now to actually try and trigger our auto update, we are going to start version 0 0.1 and this should then pick up version 0 0.2 and try and download it. So here is 0 0.1. We can just up, uh, open the DMG file. Let's move it to applications. Okay, there I got asked if I want to show notifications. And this probably already was the notification. So if we check, we now have version 0 0.1. So let's close this. And then we're going to reopen it. And there it is. So now we have version 0 0.2 and the update was automatically applied.